To be disturbed but not derailed is to journey from ponder to praise. I'm sorry, ponder to process to praise. With Mary's song of praise, we come full circle. We see that this is the story that she is able to tell as she responds with a resounding yes in courageous obedience. Luke 1, verse 46 and following. Mary responded, Oh, how my soul praises the Lord, how my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he took notice of his lowly servant girl, and from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one is holy, and he has done great things for me. He shows mercy from generation to generation to all who fear him. His mighty arm has done tremendous things. He has scattered the proud and haughty ones. He has brought down princes from their thrones and exalted the humbled. He has filled the hungry with good things and has sent the rich away with empty hands. He has helped his servant Israel and remembered to be merciful, for he made his promise to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. And so uh, this... Uh, this uh, praise poem, this song of praise of Mary, uh, it, it's beautiful and, and powerful in the sense that you're able to see a heart that has journeyed. And if you remember, po, if, we would, if you'd like, po, or, or rather, let's revisit po, the shocking statement of that angel for a second. If you remember that phrase, po, the, what, what Gabriel had told Mary was, you who are highly favored. And that phrase, po, highly favored, is somehow turned upside down and inside out for us. How? Because I think for so many of us, but we have a tendency of defining for ourselves what it means to have favor with God. Whether that be our definition of success, of having a nice car, a good position at work, financial security, or whatever that might mean for us. And oftentimes, but when God blesses us, it becomes more and more difficult for us to keep it from becoming the idol that we worship. And so we end up focusing on having more, never being content, and never being able to define what it means to have enough. And that's why, but one time, Rick Warren, he said, this somehow shows us that in life, you can have a lot to live on, but still nothing to live for. Isn't that the American dream? You have so much to live on. This is your definition of being favored. Nice car, two, three cars, big house, financial security. And again, there's nothing wrong or evil about those things. We need them, right? Uh, in order for us to provide for our families and to live our lives. But there's something wrong when we find ourselves fully leaning on them and forgetting that you can have, have a lot to live on, but still nothing to live for. And here God shows us, Paul, that to be highly favored means to be a recipient of the grace of God, to have such an incredible opportunity of bearing such a tremendous task of not only being a recipient of grace, but also being a channel of it. And there is none so unlikely to show us the power of grace, to show us what God really means when he says, you who are highly favored, than someone like that of Mary. Because the angel Paul did not choose to make the announcement to the, the king's daughter or to someone in the elite Jewish society, but to a poor illiterate, unimportant, and ordinary girl living an ordinary life in an ordinary town with unassuming dreams. And yes, as we talked about the journey of the process, it does tell us something about Mary, her simple faith, her willingness to courageously and obediently say yes to God. Even if it didn't make sense here, I will pursue and I will follow. This is what I will choose to say yes to you because the kind of story I want to tell is the kind of story in which I can say of the waters that you parted, of the waves that I walked to be able to say, God, you did not fail. 
But more than telling or, or showing us something about Mary, all of this tells us so much more about the God of Mary. An astonishing God who carries out his extraordinary plan by redeeming ordinary people. To be able to see that Mary was shown favor because God chose to show her favor and not because she deserved favor is what grace is all about. We can talk about love and world peace all we want, but we as humanity, we are utterly incapable of turning this world around on our own. We can't do it on our own. We don't deserve the, the favor and the grace of God. And yet, like Mary, because of the life of that baby, we can now be called friends of God. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Also in the description box below, we have discussion questions for you to share with a friend or visit our website at pinnaclevillage.org. Catch us live every Sunday at 10 a.m. We hope to see you there.